Hey guys, it's Haley, and today we're going to be doing the second part of my. Hello? Do you have a bobby pin or like a safety pin? I have a bobby pin. Can I use it? Yeah. Are you videoing right now? Yeah. Is this I don't like, know, she just are we rolling? Yesterday. Yeah. We're rolling. Just All right. cut all this out. Still gonna cut it out? Yep. Fuck. Sorry for that interruption. But yeah, today we're gonna be doing the second part of my February bullet journal. So I'm gonna be doing a monthly spread and just showing you guys like what I do for my weekly spreads every week. So. Oh, also, I almost forgot. Remember, okay, uh, last video I, well, actually, you know what? It's not really just last video. It's kind of a common theme that I write things in pencil, write over them, and then forget every single time that it smudges very, um, a lot. Every single time I write in pencil and then I write over in pen and then it smudges and it looks really bad and I mess up on every single one of my videos, which is really embarrassing. But I found this pencil, like, and it is the... I actually switched over to it in like the middle of my last video because it do doesn't smudge. Um, I'm probably the only one that's this excited about this, so I'm gonna stop now, but. Yeah, we can just, let's just go. I'm, oh. Golden hour. I'm blind. Okay, I want to do something cool for my little thing. I'm gonna leap across the screen and we're gonna see we're gonna make see if I can make that into a cool transition. Okay, so I start by drawing my calendar and um, I started off by messing up, so that's really cool. So I decided to just do straight lines down the page. They were supposed to be boxes like I normally do, but. So then I started drawing the lines across and I realized I messed up again. Um, so I tried to just go with it, but then once I got to the end of the line, I realized that there was literally just no way to fix it. So, um. I ripped out the entire page. I... I started from the top of the page again and then I realized once I finished this that I started February on a Wednesday when it just doesn't start on a Wednesday. It starts on a Friday. And I honestly couldn't tell you why it took me so long to notice. I just... Oh, and then yeah, I couldn't even fix it because I drew a rose there, so I couldn't like move the two things down. So basically I drew lines at the top in pink to write the days of the week, and then I went over the lines at the top of each box in my lighter pink where I was going to write the actual days of the month. Oh, and then another thing that I did wrong is that I made the Friday column too long. I made it one day too long, so I had to figure out something else to do in that box. So I decided to just draw a rose because that's the theme and I thought it would be the only thing that could fix what I did. And then I wrote week of at the top of the page when it's a February calendar. So that just makes literally no sense. So I crossed that out in black because I was not ripping out another page. And I also literally couldn't rip out another page because there's stuff on the back of that page. But then I just wrote February in big cursive letters at the top of the page. 
and went over it in my black pen with like a bubble letter kind of look. I also colored in the rose at the bottom of the page. And I added a matching black box on the other opposite side of the page because I honestly just had no idea what to do. So for the next page, I did seven big boxes for each day. And then on the left-hand side of the page, I wrote seven smaller columns where I would write my events. And in the big boxes, I would write my tasks for each day because I'm probably going to have more tasks than events just because I'm a college student and I can write my homework in the big boxes. And then there was a little bit of space at the bottom of the page. So I decided I would write a quote there. And then I wrote week of at the top of the page where it actually like makes sense because this is a weekly spread, not a monthly spread. And then I highlighted a box at the top of the weekly events section and wrote weekly events. And then at the top of each of my bigger boxes for each day, I did a highlight again in my light pink marker and then wrote the days of the week over it. And for the quote, I did grow through what you go through because it was an inspirational quote and it kind of fits the theme of roses as they grow. And then I just did the same thing for each rose that I did for the normal theme of just an ombre rose with the darker pink on the outside, light pink on the inside, and the green leaves. And basically to just try to fix what I did for February, in the black boxes, my roommate Lily let me borrow her silver gel pen to just try to fix this. And so I wrote, it's a new month. You really can't even see new month. Um, but if we just ignore that, the, um, the rest of the spread looks pretty good. And yeah, this is the final look. Everyone just please ignore the black boxes because they're terrible. But yeah, this is how I'll organize my month and my weeks for February. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos of me bullet journaling or doing other things like, well, actually, you know what? Comment down below what you want me to do. And then you can see more videos of me doing that. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.